The confirmation that an Indian company government had hired to supervise the construction works on Isimba Hydropower Dam had been fired came through engineer Badru Chigundu, the head of the project steering committee for the two huge flagship projects of Karuma and Isimba. It, it, it has not been an easy ride and uh, that therefore has led to repetition of works which is uh, costly in terms of time delays, time lost. We try not to, to cause any costs to government or to Ugandans, but at least uh, the contractor. Uh, and, and there are other, other issues. So ultimately, uh, the performance, overall performance was looked at that it should require a new breed, new life. And uh, therefore, uh, we're going to be handing over uh, this responsibility. Infratech PVT Limited, a company that has been in the eye of the storm, was handed marching orders from the Simba Dam project. NTV understands that the farm is expected to hand over on Thursday. Yeah, there are certain uh, undertakings, specific undertakes, undertakings which are supposed to be uh, implemented. Uh, I would specifically mention the left embankment dam, where the foundation uh, needs special grouting uh, provisions and uh, pressure measuring instruments need to be installed uh, ahead of time, but this was not done. The company's problems began after it submitted a 1.95 billion shillings claim to UEGCL for payment of work done under the six-month contract of Karuma Dam. The claims, which upon audit were found wanting and rejected, also revealed alleged fraud and fictitious accounting by the company. The problems were further compounded when it was found that the company did not have the requisite staff at the Simba project site. The OE has paid the price of being thrown out or terminated. Uh, so, so the, the contractor uh, unfortunately has to meet the cost. So, you know, unless other arguments are brought forth uh, which can cause adversarial financial implications to the client. But as of now, we have stayed steadfast. Dr. Chigundu now says that Isimba Dam expected to bring 183 megawatts to the national electricity grid in 2018 may have been substantially affected by these weaknesses. So let's, let's keep our, our hopes together as Ugandans. We, uh, these are special projects and hard and hard borrowed money. So uh, they remain flagship projects and uh, they will deliver. The resolve for government at the end of the day is to have at least over 700 megawatts of electricity from Karuma and Isimba dams. But to get that, a lot of work has to be put in, both reactionary, actionary and supervisory. Now government says the owner's engineer, whom they hired to do the supervising, hasn't been doing their part. Raymond Mujini, NTV.